today we're checking out the new macOS Monterey. So the public beta just came out recently and if you've been dying to try out some of its features, well, wait no more. But before we start, this video is brought to you by Good Deals by KLGG, our official e-store where you can get all kinds of awesome gadgets. You can even enjoy 0% installment payment with IOU Pay when you use your credit or debit card to purchase any products 100 ringgit and above. Visit the link below for more information. Alright, so now I took at least half an hour for the download to complete and when it's done, the first difference you'll see is the new Monterey wallpaper. So it's this um, purple to pink pastel color and if we continue exploring, you'll see some new stuff up here. So we have the new AirPlay speaker icon um, to play your music and podcast and if we look further right, you get this iPhone iPad like control center. It's a nice touch, it's more familiar and less wordy looking overall. So you also see that there's this new focus feature which is one of the updates Apple mentioned during WWDC last month. Um, it's basically like an expanded version of the do not disturb button but now you can customize it to different modes so um, for example you can change the color and also icon for your focus mode right and you can choose the exact apps and people who can notify you when this focus mode is on so um, there is another thing you can let others know that you are unavailable at the moment by showing the away status and you can also allow time sensitive notifications which let others bypass your focus mode in case of emergencies next we've got safari now this took me some time to get used to so we've got a streamlined bar now and um, everything is on a single row it's supposed to be cleaner which it kind of is but i also feel like something's missing now i do like the new tab groups though so i always leave my tabs open having tab groups really helps in organizing them so i'm just gonna open a bunch of tabs to show you how it really works um We've got three tabs right now. Okay, so you basically just click on this button and you can have new tab group with three tabs and you can name it. So I'm just going to call it test two. So for example, if I quit Safari, right, I can just open it back very easily by clicking test two and all three tabs are back right here. So they're also very easy to share. So I just need to click on my notes, right? And I drag this to the note and you'll see all three links are included. Speaking of notes, this new quick note feature is my personal favorite so far. So I'm always using notes to work. Um, so quick notes is very convenient to me. You just have to drag to the lower right of your screen and bam, there it is. But it's not just the shortcut that makes it interesting. You can also add tags to it. So um, all your notes that has the same tag will appear when you search for that particular tag. And it's also super easy to add links now. So for example, I have this website open, right? Uh, I just have to click on this button and you see it's right there. I can even add the link to my podcast if I want to. We're also going to take a look at FaceTime. So FaceTime is slightly cooler now. Um, if you are using Monterey on Mac, you'll realize that there is this new create link which allows non-Apple user to connect with you via FaceTime. And um, more than that, there is actually a portrait mode right now. It's turned on so you can see that my background is blur, um, but you can also turn it off. This is not perfect, but it definitely does its job. So I'm turning it off and on. Yep. Last but not least, we've got Universal Control, one of the most anticipated features from Monterey. With just one keyboard and a mouse slash trackpad, you can control both your Mac and iPad at the same time. No, this is nothing like Sidecar, guys. But unfortunately, Universal Control isn't available on this beta update yet. So it's not unusual, but some features tend to only come in later updates, so we can only wait for now. 
And that's it, you've seen the big guns of macOS Monterey. Of course, there are some other features to look forward to, but these are the major ones that really caught my attention. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, do let us know so, you know, perhaps when Universal Control is out, we can do a slight demo on how it actually feels or works. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, KLGadget TV, and I'll see you in the next one.